Hi, I'm Victoria McLean and welcome to my channel. Today is all about geek gear. Now I got it right this time yesterday. Oh my god, I was so oh, if you haven't seen that, the bloopers and that is just above that. It oh my god. That's it's only for this video, but there's so many times I make mistakes that that just didn't surprise me. <laughs> and my and this lockdown is killing my brain. Um so yes, I'm just here this kind of doing its bubbly thing. It's so cool. If you want to know where I got this machine from, then check out the link. I'll try and put it down below, but it, in my video from yesterday, it's in the description of that. Um, they're so cheap to buy, they're really cheap. You do need to get like an electrical power system. Luckily, my father-in-law made one for me, so I was fine. Uh, but you do have to buy one with it if you need to, obviously if you haven't got one. Um, but I highly recommend you do, because they're more, otherwise you only get the machine, you don't actually get the plug that goes with it. But as I said, I'm lucky I've already got one. But I love it. It's so cool. <laughs> okay, Victoria, stop playing about now, you know. Okay, so I just wanted to give you um, a heads up uh, regarding my videos. Now, you know, obviously, there is an item that's going to be going in that part of my Borgen and Burke's cabinet. It has arrived. It is here. It's within my midst. In fact, I'm looking at it right now because it's on the floor down there. Um, I cannot wait to show you it. It is absolutely incredible. The only problem is um, the outside of this item arrived broken. Now, that's not a problem. It is obviously for the person um, who sent it to me because they did it as a goodwill gesture. However, it wasn't a problem. The item itself is in pristine condition. It is absolutely incredible. You are going to hopefully not literally die but literally die when you see it it is just incredible so that video hopefully will be coming to you tomorrow the only problem is the piece that the thing that it's it's i got with it um i've had to get separately so that hopefully is arriving tomorrow apparently it is arriving tomorrow um according to everything else it's arriving tomorrow oh my god please arrive tomorrow um please 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 because i would think i would cry if it didn't you're seeing it tomorrow, okay? You're seeing it tomorrow, okay? Think positive thoughts. All my VIPs on Patreon, if you want to know how to become a patron for my YouTube channel, then check out the link below because my VIP patrons get to see that video of this incredible reveal um, an hour before everybody else. So they are very, very lucky. They've already been told. In fact, they've had a sneak peek picture. They have a, they've guessed what it is, but they haven't seen it properly. Uh, because obviously as a VIP, we have our own little personal group chat that we all chat in and it's really lovely. But okay, enough of that. <laughs> but I wanted to give you all updated. This week has been just crazy. Um, really, really crazy with everything. It's just been mental. Anyway, so if you would like to see what is in the Geek Gear Special Edition this month, then keep on watching. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? Let's get started. <gasps> so here it is, the Geek Gear Special Edition for, is it March or May, uh, April or May? Is it May? I can't remember. But here it is, the last one was the Luna Love Good Box. If you haven't seen the unboxing, check out the link above because it's there in full. Um, this is very, very, very heavy. So, but it is a big box compared to what you normally get. Now I actually messaged Geek Gear a while back to say that um, this was a good year ago that I was a little bit disappointed with their special edition boxes because they weren't as wow as the normal boxes. And you do pay a fair bit for these, it's like 40 something pound for these boxes. Um, and I don't get them for free, obviously I pay for them like everybody else. But they were a bit disappointing, so I messaged them and I gave them a little bit of a kind of please could you, and they actually listened. So I'm really hoping that this is a good box. I don't know the theme, I haven't looked. Because to be honest, I totally forgot that I was getting it because I only signed up for the Luna Lovegood one. And then obviously this arrived yesterday. So. Ooh, is that two t-shirts? What? Is that the burrow? Oh my God, look at that, two, is it two t-shirts? 
I love their t-shirts. This was the, one of the last um, t-shirts I got from their boxes. Isn't that brilliant? I love it. I think this is the April box. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. This is the burrow. It looks like the burrow. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh my God. Look at that. The burrow. Ottery St. Catchpole Devon. Ottery St. Catchpole Devon. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the colours of this. Oh, my candle's doing its thing again. Will you shut up? I'm trying to film here. Shh. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So there's one t-shirt. I don't know, I, I will put one on, I just don't know which one to put on yet. So we've got that one. Okay, and then we've got this one. This is long, this is long sleeve. I'm not the first on long sleeve. I find it quite restricting. Do you find it quite restricting? Because I do. Um, it's like I can't, I don't like really hoodies either, unless they've got a sip. All aboard the Hogwarts Express. Arr, we had a uh, Hagrid's trunk, didn't we, yesterday, that had the exact same thing on it. Different design. But it was the exact same thing. Although that looks like more like the Hogwarts Express than the one yesterday did. That was a lovely t-shirt, mine. If you haven't seen the Hagrid's trunk unboxing, check out the link above. Because it was nice. I didn't like the pin very much though. I think I liked it yesterday because of the foiling and everything. But when I looked at it again afterwards, I wasn't too sure about the pin. I didn't like the pin from last month either. But the rest of it is worth getting. So all aboard the Hogwarts Express London. So yeah, it's, it is almost... Got, oh, that's nice. You've got the detail in the background there of the actual Hogwarts castle. But it is exactly, almost exactly the same as the one yesterday. So we've got lovely cardboard spaghetti. We have green and red. It's like Christmas. <laughs> I'm not chucking it. I know you can hear me. Say, I can hear you. I can hear you say, go on, things. Chuck it, chuck it. No. Right, so we've got, oh, okay. We've got a colour changing mug. So this would be an official item. This is Sirius Black. So you've got obviously a blank canvas. Have you seen this wizard? And then obviously you've got Sirius Black screaming at the camera there. So it's obviously a heat changing mug. There's, there's quite a fair bit in this box actually, to be fair. Oh, I like this. Are you seen, if you haven't seen my mug collection, then check out the link above because I have a big mug collection. I'm very lucky in that respect. I like that because it's in the bottom there, it's got, you see the, the my camera reflection, you've got the Ministry of Magic in there. And of course, this is um, Pyramid International. It is an official Harry Potter item there. So official Wizarding World um, Warner Brothers item there so that's really nice to have an official item in there so it says have you seen this wizard and of course the colour changing inside and you'll see Sirius Black is it just Sirius Black or is it different people oh I see it shows him in different ways so you've got that one you've got that one and then you've got that one. Oh, I like it. But do I know what, do you know what would have been better is if you'd had this, but with three different Death Eaters on it. That would have been better. Although Sirius Black wasn't technically a Death Eater. But you know, you've got Fenrir Grey, but you've got Bellatrix Lestrange, you've got Lucy's Malfoy, you've got all of those, you know. So uh, that would have been cool if you'd have had those three on there instead. Although that's pretty cool. But you know what I mean. Got, oh, this is heavy. We've got a plain white box now. Oh, okay. We've got um, polystyrene. I'm a little bit excited. Because <laughs> there's nothing on the box telling me what it is. So it's like, <gasps> what is it? Oh, I can't get it out. God, it's like my item I had received in the post today. Couldn't get that out either. Okay. Should have a look at this together, is it? Ready? Oh, wow! I don't know if you can see that. That's a white chess piece, a knight. Oh, okay. Oh my God, look at the detail on this. Oh God, trying to get it out, it's really nerve wracking. Oh, I tell you, if you saw, when you see what I got in the post today, you'll understand why my nerves are shot to hell. Because trying to sort that out today was really scary. But again, you'll understand why tomorrow. Look at that. That is 
so, so nice. I love the gold detailing on it. And it's solid as well. That is so beautiful. What a gorgeous chess piece. It's a nice size too. I'm shaking. I really like that. Look at the detail of the horse and the knight. And the stand it's on as well. That is so pretty. That's totally barbaric. That's a wizard's chest. Where to put this without it dropping on the floor? Right, okay. Oh, it looks nice. It's not staying there, but it looks nice. Right, what have we got? God, there's loads in this box. We have a print. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, let's have a look. Right, ready? Are you ready? Are you steady? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, now. Oh, wow. I love that. Oh my god. Um the person who did this one. I've got it on the I've got it on the floor here because it's ready to go up on the wall. But the person who did this one did that picture as well. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love their work. She's this, I'm sure it's a she. Apologise if I get that wrong. But she's one of my favourite artists on Geek Gear. Oh, you got the Weasley shop in the background. The slug and lettuce. I love it. Mr. Mulpepper's Apothecary. Dragon Alley. It's a, oh, Diagon Alley, sorry. You know me. That is so beautiful. God, I wish I could paint like that. That is stunning, absolutely stunning. I'm gonna put it back in its cardboard because I only brought that Harry Potter one, that the Hogwarts Castle one out while I was, because um, it was up for a while. You did, you guys didn't see that um, because it was being displayed in another part of my my um, Harry Potter room. But that's all being painted. It's all been painted now where it was all finished but you're still not seeing it yet <laughs> i don't want to show you guys until it is absolutely finished i've got some ideas to do bits that's the problem being a prop maker is I, i've got loads of ideas to do things but it's doing it and finding it in places that don't charge the earth because as i say i've got ideas i mean i know that my friend sean valentine could probably help me with a few of the ideas i've got but I might give him a message actually and ask him. Um, because he's only up the road from me. I speak to him every day, me and Sean. I speak to Sean more than I speak to my husband. Okay, what we got? We've got a wand that's open. Um, unique wands. It's oh wow. Oh my god. You're gonna love this. Look, I'm trying to do it so the camera focuses on the wand rather than me. Look at that. That is just so unusual. And it's so heavy. That's the one thing about unique wands is their wands are a nice weight. They are a nice weight. Some of them I'm not fussed by. Um, some of them I, I could I could take or leave. But the weight of the wands is always good because you want it to be weighty. You want it to feel like it's been well made. That is beautiful. Look at that. And then you've got on the end there as well. It's almost like a little golden snitch. That is so, so, so pretty. I love that wand. I absolutely love this wand. That is so gorgeous. It feels so good. Hang on, what's the, what's the wand moves? It's 
flicky. And I can't go through its follow through. My daughter taught me the five moves from Warner Brothers. I love that one, I do. And then sleep behind the back. <laughs> that is stunning. Oh, I love the way the leaves are like flicking out, like there. And then it closes at the top like it's ready to open. That is so gorgeous. It's one of the best ones I think we've had from Unique Ones. That is beautiful. Right. We'll find out more about that in the list of uh, items that are in this box. So let's pop that to one side for a minute. Another official item from Warner Brothers. Let's take it out of the packaging. This is right up my uh, nocturne alley, if you like. <laughs> Look at that. A Death Eater pad. Are you going to focus? Yes, it is. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Let's open it because it shows that it's more inside. Oh, this is so me. This is so me. Who's this by? Pyramid International again. This is, this is so me. You know me and my Death Eater stuff. Look at that. Look at that. And then on the back, it's got the dark mark. Look at that. That is stunning. And then you've got a place there you can put your pen, whichever pen you choose to write with. And then on the inside, it's got, dark, it's got Death Eater masks. And then obviously the dark mark here. Look at that. And then the pages then have all got the dark mark symbol on them. That is lush. Oh my God, I love that. And at the back then, I don't know if you can see down there that it says Death Eater. <sighs> that is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it says it on the front as well, it says down there. Don't know if you can see it in this, like there we are, it's got Death Eater. Oh my god, that is amazing. I absolutely love that. That is gorgeous. Okay. Is there anything else in this box? Oh, we've got the wand detail. Okay. So it's full full folium. Folium. Folium wand. Uh length eleven and a half. Core mandrake heart. A uh, wood type cedar wood. And artist's name is Isabel Gaboth. Gaboth, is that right? a celebrated artist isn't it the community artist that's what i was trying to think of okay a massive thank you from all of us here at geek gear subscribing blah, blah we hope you enjoy april 2020 special edition so you've got the exclusive hogwarts t-shirt i never put one on i normally put one on oh, i'll do it for the next one uh exclusive weasley burrow t-shirt i love that uh, number three, Diagon Alley Community Artist Artwork. This stunning artwork is brought to you by Holly Simpson. She's amazing. Show Holly some a love on Instagram at Holly Simpson Art. Uh, four unique exclusive, uh, wand exclusive, Folium wand. This wand is a community artist design created by the incredibly talented Geek Gear customer, Isabel Gaboth. Well done. Uh, exclusive Wizard's Chess White Knight piece replica. Stunning. Uh, license exclusive Sirius Black Heat Changing Mug. License exclusive Death Eater Premium A5 Notepad, licensed by Warner Brothers. And then there we've got Phoenix, uh, Phoenix 11. So YouTube Spotlight. Well done, my darling, for being there again. And next month's hint is it's got Sir it's got Sirius, it's got Lucius Malfoy, the Death Eaters from the when they're there in the end of the scene. No? When <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, it's when they say Harry's dead, isn't it? And Vold and um, Hagrid's carrying him. But that's the scene there with Lucius Malfoy and Narcissa Malfoy and the Death Eaters. So that is that. I didn't wear a t shirt. I'm a little bit concerned that that Hogwarts Express t shirt is set is the same, almost the same design as the Hagrid trunk. That's a little bit concerning for me. Um. But other than that, I think my favourite items is got to be, it's got to be, it's got to be the Death Eater pad, because, you know, me, come on now, I love it. And I think the wand, these are my two favourite items. The wand is beautiful. I love that wand. I'm so impressed with it. If 
you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button, and so you don't miss any more of my videos, hit the notification bell as well. Until next time, take care. I love you all. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Press the like button, the notification bell, so you don't miss any more of my videos. Until next time, take care. I love you all. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye.